Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Iyer. After a long hiatus, we joined Dr. Kanik Kanikeswaran for another travel down memory lane of music. Dr. Kanikeswaran, namaskaram and welcome to P Guru's channel. Uh, namaskaram, Sri. Thank you so much for having me on here. I'm looking forward to an exciting uh, session today. So, uh, viewers, uh, we have done a few episodes and then there was a small break. And the break was because every time we put one of our music appreciation hangouts, there is some copyright claim that comes and we have to resolve that. And before those whose videos are being going to be played in this session, please, please, we are just using 30 seconds to one minute of the clip. It is to illustrate something special about that song. We have no intention of stealing your uh, IP. Uh, and so please do not put a copyright claim because if you do that, then the whole purpose of the music appreciation is lost. Dr. Kanikesaran has set aside a lot of valuable time to join us and talk about this. So I, I would request uh, that please do not put copyright claims on this. So uh, Dr. Kanikesaran, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, today, the topic we picked was uh, um, Raga Dharmavati and Madhuvanti. And um, uh, we wanted to explore how, uh, I mean, the, when you mention the name of a Raga, it immediately brings the uh, image of uh, a not necessarily approachable concept stage and uh, people performing and all that, and classical music, Shastri Sangeet at a distance and all that. But actually, when you think of it, some of these, the scale of these ragas have been very beautifully adapted and used in popular tunes in film music, which have been really, really accessible and really, really, uh, what more than approachable, hummable. People have hummed these for years together, and they are sitting right in front of us, except we don't identify them, we don't call them out as songs in Madhavanti or Dharmavati. So let's have fun doing that. And uh, um, it, I'm glad we had this uh, initial discussion where we decided this was too much to fit into one session so we're going to have two sessions for this uh, couple of ragas yes and and those of you the ilai raja purists uh, that is going to be a separate session on how he used dharmavati so today we are going to talk about other music directors who have used dharmavati by the way it is a very very popular raga there are lots of songs in bollywood tollywood uh, Hollywood, you name it, they, it, is, it is a very popular song. So I would like us to start, uh, Kanix, if with your permission, uh, that uh, we can start with this one folk song that is prevalent in Telangana and, and that perhaps may have become an inspiration for the blockbuster that A.R. Rahman did after that. So let's first start listening to the folk song. <laughs> So that was um, that was the uh, folk song that was very popular in um, uh, in Telangana, and and now you perhaps have guessed the song that I'm alluding to that was composed by A R Rahman, perhaps one of the biggest. Uh, uh, hits of hits. Here we go. So um, we 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 get the idea. So this is the song that perhaps uh, you know reverberated in every household all over India in its various forms. So, Kanix, um, talk us a little bit about the structure of this ragam and, and what is so special about it. Because I have seen this ragam used in a romantic situation. I've also seen it in you know more pensive situations and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me um, just turn my Shruti on to uh, just give a little more of formality to the introduction of the raga. So, yes, yes. The raga is like... Uh, uh, <coughs> If this was the starting point, so Sarega 
gama pi so that's um, just roughly roughly the outline of uh, this um, set of ragas dharmavati and madhuvanti so um, for those that are familiar with the vocab vocabulary of carnatic music we have a system of 72 parent scales that are used to explain all the ragas and one of the parents is uh, called dharmavati so in the scalar system it is uh, it uses the swaras like sa re re ga ga ma the komal ga the tivrama then the um, shuddhata and uh, the shuddhani and all that so sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa sa ni dha pa ma ga re sa so it is not a very ancient raga okay so in terms of age you would probably date it back like uh, two or three hundred years three hundred years maybe because it literally came into being during the time of the trinity or maybe um, just prior to that so dikshita buddha swami dikshita has a composition in the raga dhamavati which was parandhamavati jayati there is another later composition which was bhajana seya radha in uh, dharmavati and uh, there are lighter compositions in madhuvanti like uh, kandana kandanal mudal kadal pergad Perigadadi, that's a very popular composition today. Uh, but you, do, you don't have, you, you don't have, uh, but this is not an old raga. This is not a raga like Todi or Kam Kamboji or Kalyani or anything like that. So, um, so in that sense, it really got popularity thanks to its, in, thanks to its use in bhajans and also in uh, film music. Um, so it can be used to to show the bhakti rasa, it can also be used to show pathos or the, even biraha separation and uh, a sense of longing and all that and uh, even more and it can be very playly, playfully used in film songs like we're going to see there are, there are some serious compositions as well as some very playfully used ones also so um th this is this is one of those ragas that kind of tugs at the heartstrings if you will because I am reminded yeah. of uh, the song that uh, Madan Mohan composed, Rasme Ulfat Ko Nibhai To Nibhai Rasme Ulfat Ko Nibhai Ko Nibhai Kaise That's song, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, so, so. Mm. Yeah, that is exactly right. La, la, la. Yeah. So, so you see, the the thing about uh, Madan Mohan music is, you know, you can sing a song from this note to this note straight line, or you can do yeah. what I call as gum. See, listen, my understanding of music is appreciation. I'll make a lot of mistakes. You are the one who has to correct me. Oh, but he he doesn't go straight. Uh, so he he has that wavy thing. And he would really make Lata Mangeshka sing that thing to his perfection. If he didn't get it right, he would say that, no, you have to do this thing right. And she used to say that singing with him, singing for him was really music for her. Yeah. See, the thing is, um, uh, it, I'm, I'm sure she enjoyed what uh, he wanted her to do. And uh, he knew he had the right person to do what was, I mean, he, she really brought to life the ideas that he had in his head. You know, some, some, as a composer, you get a lot of ideas, but ideas you, but you may not be able to articulate them because you, your voice may not cooperate with what you want to do. So it's, it's, it's so lovely when you find a voice that, that can actually do it for you. And, and, and viewers, uh, a lot of Madan Mohan music, you will find the sitar of Rais Khan, uh, an amazing star, a sitar player in his own right. Unfortunately, they had a parting of weights towards the end of uh, Madan Mohan's career and Rais Khan, I believe, uh, resettled in Pakistan. I'm not 100% sure about that part of the thing, but the, the the two combo, you can, you can, was just, took it to the next level, let's say. So, um, mm -hmm. if you would like to add anything more on Ehan Rahman's use of Dharmavati, I think he has used some other uh, songs yeah. also, like, See, the thing is, uh, it took the world by storm. I remember 1993, um, that's when the movie Gentleman came out. I read later that, uh, see, Thrida Thrida came after Gentleman. Yes. Right? Um, but I, I read later that Veera Pandi Koteyere was probably finished even before hmm. Gentleman came out. So this the situation. Apparently, the film wanted a situation similar to 
Mirabandi Kotaila, and this is what ARM man delivered. And what mm -hmm. did he deliver? He delivered something fantastic. And right. this was this. Janik Janaki still in her uh, uh, almost in a peak, right? Mm -hmm. She was doing a lot for Ilai Raja, like in the 90, in the 80s. And this was like early 93, and uh, um, she sang the song, and then she's probably sung multiple tracks on it. So in a few places, it sounds like a chorus. There's yes. No chorus edited on the record so it's just her voice coming in multiple tracks um and uh, the song the the beauty of the song is the way the song is structured is that it's a very powerful beat and uh, the usage of strings in a uh, in an extremely powerful way and plus there's also the, the shanai playing a significant role in it and then there are those uh, desert scenes and uh, uh um you know the, the medieval looks and things like that the thing, important thing to note here is that the song is not completely set to Madhuvanti or Dharmavati. There's, there's a lot of uh, liberties taken here. So so let me digress a little bit here. See the sure, sure. It goes, mm, sare ga ma pa. So then the next part of the raga is, thani sa, sa ni dha pa. That's a Dharmavati framework. But if you do, pa thani sa, sa ni dha pa, it's called Hemavati. So, so uh, so, so that is uh, uh, infringing that's into the Hemavati territory. Okay, so so all, all that kind of stuff is still in the Hemavati domain. But when you go to the into the Charanam, which has a real, very beautiful Dharmavati flavor in it. Mm, so all that is very nice, uh, Dharmavati. So overall, the Dharmavati flavor is dominating in the song. And plus, it's packaged so beautifully well. So there's no wonder that it took the whole world by storm. Then there's another song in the same raga or the same framework by uh, uh, A.R. Rahman, which is... Uh, Sugam Sugam Ida Ta Na Na Ne Ram Ra 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 Kudum Ne Ram Ta Ra Ra Ranga Yugangalagum. So that is from a movie called Vandi Chole Chidrasa. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard that one. And 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 that yeah, is more and... Shringara. That is more Shringara. You you brought it beautiful, beautiful. Because you can see, you have to listen to the lyrics and understand the lyrics, by the way. So that's what gives the yeah. thing away that this is a Shingara Rasa. Please go ahead. Yeah, and it's, it's a classic, often repeated theme in Tamil movie lyrics. Like, when I'm with you, um, even a second, um, e even a Yugam seems like a second. But when, right. I, when I'm away from you, the Viraha is so much that uh, even a Yugam, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. When I'm away from you, even a, even a second seems like a yugam. So right, 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 right. And yes. it's, it's sung by Vani Jaram, I think. It's one yes, of the yes, yes, the yes. Uh, Rahman has worked with uh, Vani Jaram. Yes, yes. And 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 also, if you notice in Otagata Katiko, you have the traditional melam. That's what it starts with. You know? Yeah, yeah. The tabel, the tabel is used very powerfully. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. that that the tabel is used in the beginning, and 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 that's a you know a very pleasant departure. You don't straight away go into tabla. You use tabel. You use shanai. So he has really used brought his creativity out in the song. I, I mean, that's my appreciation for uh, you know Rahman's music here. So, um, and if you watch the movie when it was released, there was not a foot that was not tapping. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Movie, and um, yeah. So, uh, did you know the Hindi version of it? I forget the name of the movie, but there was like Roop Suhana Lagta Hai. Right, 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 right. I, I, uh, it, it's, uh, it just, like I said, you know, it, it went into all languages, but the, the thing was the percussion was so precise, foot tapping, and, and it, uh, you know, Rahman's rise was meteoric. I mean, oh, you yeah. take a look at, uh, you know, Bombay. And, and and then uh, and other things came after, but this was the point that you know, it's like a rocket he took off. On on Roja was the first one, and and yeah. Roja had a few good things. It was still simple. He didn't really you know aim for the moon in this movie. In my opinion, I think he aimed for the moon because he really took off. I mean, look at Chikapu Kareile or or some of the other songs in this uh, movie. Yeah, <laughs> and we 
seed to the till. So yeah. also the unconventional, unconventional nature of the lyrics. Okay, the whole the whole song starts with of all things a camel. Go hug a camel, cling tight on tight to it. <laughs> Don't let go. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> So right. again, on the water, where did this where did this camel come from? So, right. <laughs> so very very interesting, uh, you know, way the way it's portrayed, and mm. um, so and, if and I think the other one, Usilamati Penkutti, I still remember this. Yeah. My grandmother, who was close to eighty at that time, one day she was cutting vegetables, and suddenly she stopped and started la laughing. Party, I think, said, "Why are you laughing?" He said, "Oh, I'm going to sell it to Abdina." What? <laughs> <laughs> because she was alluding to the lyrics from uh, uh, um, <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> He's saying that the girl is tall, so the guy looks at her, and every time I look at you, yeah. I'm straining my neck. Um, yeah. You know, Shankar also put a lot of naughtiness in the lyricist. His, his lyrics are yeah. pretty naughty, I should say. And, and, and he, he probably, these days, Censor doesn't really look at all these things, but if you really spend time listening to mm -hmm. some of the lyrics of the songs that Shankar put out, that, that's a topic in itself that we can discuss. Uh, oh, so with, your, with your permission, Kanix, I'd like to go to the next song. Uh, sure. Can we go to the next one? So Absolutely. this is a music composer whom it is alleged that uh, Ilanaja thought he was his mentor. His name is Dakshina Murthy. And I believe that he did not compose very much music this particular song that you're going to hear now, I'd like you to really listen to it. And Kanix, you can weigh in on the structure of the song itself. I'm just going to play the first few bars and, and we listen to it. And then you can perhaps help us disseminate the way this song starts off. It's just mind blowing. I know I've hyped up all your uh, uh, expectations. Uh, here we go. Nanda Yenila. Nanda ni yen nila nila ayagan madi kan bad sugame nanam yeno va pedi ni nadum vidi mori te nadum mori kudal poadum kudal yeri ni adum yeri ninni varum silai mohana kalai So I'm sorry, I kind of I should have let it go for one more second, but I was, uh, you know, I'm my bad. Please go ahead. Oh, beautiful. Um, see, this is Nanda Ni and Nila, composed by uh, Dakshina Murthy, who was born more than a hundred years ago. Um, I, I think he was born in 1919 or something. I'm not very sure. And uh, he um, he lived a long life and he composed a lot of music, most of which was in Malayalam. So he had a he, he had a very uh, he had a very strong reputation in in Malayalam. He was highly regarded. He was a Classicist, he was uh, grounded in Carnatic music, and he brought that very effectively to the screen, both in Malayalam and in whatever little uh, Tamil movies that he did. The name of this movie is uh, Nanda Niyan Nil, Nanda Yen Nila, I think. And uh, the, the movie he did in Tamil just prior to this, one year prior to this, is Oru Uda Pu Kandsimitigiri, which is a Kamala Hassan star. I remember watching the movie on Doordarshan. And that had a background score, which goes tan ta ra 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 ta ra ta ra ta ra ra ra. So that tune stuck in my head. See, remember, I was about 14, 15 years old during that time. And then later on in school, there was a kid, there was a boy that was singing Nanda Ni Yen. Hey, this is this music is from Udapuda. Let I the where part of this from a movie of Dina. Then he he showed it to me. That's when I realized, okay. There was some connection between those two movies. I didn't look further, but later on I realized that both, I realized that both the movies were scored by the same musician. So, and uh, at that time I did, did not even know of the existence of the Raga Dharmavati or anything like that. And later on, when I discovered Dharmavati, I mean, it, everything fell in place. Okay, this was a song in the Raga, um, loosely based on the Raga Dharmavati, and the background score that he had done for another movie prior to this movie also used the same tune. 
Um, so it was played on the violins and it was accompanied by tablas and all that. It was very beautiful. I mean, for a 14-year-old boy to just listen to some arbitrary background tune in the middle of a serious story and remember it for life. So, and especially with only one watch on Dudarshan. Okay, and uh, actually last night I checked it out again. That the, the entire movie is out there. You can look, you can hear this tune in the middle of the movie. Okay, this song is beautifully constructed. Okay, first of all, the Pallavi is very long. So there's very few songs that have long Pallavis. One of one of which is uh, the Kuchna Kaho Kut, um, in the movie 1942 Love Story. Yes, yes. On and on and on. And so, uh, uh, it keeps going on and on, but the, the lyrics have a beautiful flow to them. And especially in the second half of the song, Yanupalavi, the um, the use of the, the the poetic alliteration where every almost every word begins with the vowel R. Okay, and the money, and the things like that. Plus, there's a lot of illu uh, allusions to the, uh, references, metaphor, class, cla uh, metaphors from. Uh, uh, literature and from the Puranas and all that kind of stuff. So Kannada, it must be Kannadasan at work, definitely. Um, pretty sure it's Kannadasan. If not, uh, it must have been Bali at that point in time. If you look at looking at 1976, it is before other people came into the picture. So the only other person who wrote, um, that was the time when Raja probably had already entered the space. But even at that time, we knew that there was some connection between Raja and uh, uh, Dakshinamurti. And I think it's been acknowledged that uh, um, Raja was definitely inspired by uh, Dakshinamurti, and uh, Dakshinamurti is also meant, apparently mentored A.R. Rahman's, Rahman's father. Um, now, if you go to Udapu Kansumitigiri, there's another song called Nalla Manam, Manam Varga, which is based on the Raga Kalyana Vasantham, which is also tuned by uh, Dakshinamurti. Now, you mentioned the sitar and Madan, Mo Madan Mohan. So, so for uh, when you put, so, somehow there is the, uh, the, the um, Sita really shines through while playing this rag, okay? And uh, Nandani and Nila uses uh, a, a heavy dose of sitar in it. And then the percussion also, it was very intuitively played, going with the flow of the song, with the nadai changing every now and then, all that kind of stuff. So the orchestration is simple by today's standard, standards. Yet, it must have been recorded in one take, okay? With everything, all instruments playing live and all that. So that's not an easy feat at all. So no tracks or no sequences or anything like that. So all in all, I think it probably set the stage for more Dharmavati compositions to follow late, later. So uh, I really wish the Dakshinamurti had scored more music for Tamil films. Yes, yes. And, and, and you know, you touched upon a point that, uh, you know, I observed it, but I, I didn't remember until you touched upon it is the word ah. You know, the, the charanam, I think every line starts with uh, Agamam Tanda, something, something. Correct. Andavan um, so, uh, lyrics, Agamam Tanda, yeah. 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 And, and, and see, the, the beauty of a song is not just the singer or the music, but it's all of this together okay. with the situation. And, and many of the 60s, 70s, 80s movies, the movie itself is told, uh, told in the form of one song or the other. You see the song, you kind of know what the movie is about. Exactly. Um, I, I mean, that's that, that's a great point that you bring bring out. Uh, see, we, you don't. Uh, so songs are not appendages to movies. They are integral to the movie. They tell the story in some way, shape, or form, and uh, often in many ways. In in many ways, yeah. And uh, this is actually an imaginary sequence, by the way. I mean, you have to see the movie. He is actually mm. looking at the the moon. It's a full moon, and he mm. gets inspired to think about this. So, so, okay. so I want. I don't want to sp spoil the plot here for you, but uh, I think this movie is, is an amazing one. And, and and just to touch on that, Udapu can't submit together. Um, I think it was Savi who was the uh, editor. I could be wrong about that, but what it happened was. He got this title in his head, or Udapu can't submit together. Then he calls yeah. up one of his novelists and says, You're going to write a novel, and this is the title of <laughs> so, so, so sometimes you know amazing things happen where inspiration, you know, starts from them. Usually, see, I, I write books, right? Yeah. Mine, yeah. The, the title is the last thing I come up with because when I have a plot in mind, I I have a way I go this way, that way, and then bring it all together and then finally I sit down to say okay what is it that I want to uh, you know name this thing as and 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 that is another process but interestingly yeah. enough I was the first time I heard that the 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 editor of the magazine says this is the title of your next novel go write it yeah 
<laughs> so um, now mo let's move on from uh, Dakshina Murthy to another very, very popular music director, Sri M.S. Vishwanathan. And, and he has done a lot of stuff. And uh, so would you like me to start the song first and then perhaps we can talk a little bit more yeah, about it? Go, yeah, please go ahead and play the song. Yeah. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Hello, my dear Ram Number. Hello, my dear Ram Number. Kekavi Undan Kural Sorgam. Neri Le Patal in Nabetkam. Kekavi Undan Kural Sorgam. Neri Le Patal in Nabetkam. Karpane or Iron. Karpane or Iron. Hello. MS is Shanathan and uh, um, Dharmavati. Uh, the, I think there uh, the, this connection goes back even prior to the time of uh, this this film. This is what does uh, was what, what's the name of this movie? Manmadalilai. Manmadalilai. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So this was a series of uh, K Balachandra films with Kamala Hassan, right? Right, they were right. all uh, one hit after the other, and uh, they all had uh, um, tremendous hits to the credit, all in yes. black and white. Yes. And yes. Uh, um, but prior to all this, there was a movie called Uttara Vindri Uleva. I think it's probably in the late 60s, early 70s, maybe, and uh, yes, it's yeah. a full budget comedy. But in the midst of that, there's a beautiful song, which goes. So that's a beautiful song. Again, I'm thinking the Raga. When I saw the movie for the first time, Mannan Vandano, Mannan Vandano. I had no clue what name. I, didn't, I had no idea of the existence, like it only before. I had no idea of the existence of this Raga at all at the point in time. But the song stuck me because all the, the lyrical component is completely sung by the female voice, which is Peace Sushila. And if you listen to it now, you'll realize that it's extraordinarily, extraordinarily beautifully sung. Uh, the kind of control she has on her voice when she goes up the higher range of the song, there's no shouting of any kind at all. I mean, it's beautifully de delivered. The sentiment is conveyed. And the every word is expressed beautifully. The male voice just ex echoes with ahs and oohs and ums and all kinds of stuff. So that is Kadal 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 in the uh, Mahuti. Later on, hello, my dear wrong number. This was a period when Manmada Lilai actually, um, Manevi Amai Vadalam was the, pro probably a better known song than this, right? And that was sung by Yesu Das. And that was a time where, right. yeah, if you take your mind back to the 1970s, mid, mid 1970s, see, Yesu Das had just gotten, made a name for himself in Tamil. Devam Tandai Vida was probably his first hit. Yes. First major hit. All sung earlier in, uh, and all that, but they right, the video right. that hit, the, uh, hit the roof uh, through its popularity. And then Adi, um, Adi Ragam, Anand Ragam. So that was like in probably 1975, I think. Right. And then Matan Nilay. And then in the midst of all this was this Udapu Kansmiti. Yeah. Nalla Manam Varga. Nalla Manam Varga and all that. So when you um, listen to these songs or even think about them, your mind goes back to, to that day in Madras when it was a different place altogether. Black and white movies are being made. The movies are much more slow paced, but those are movies that you can still watch today without uh, getting a feeling that they are outdated or anything like that. Because the stories are very strong, the camera, camera angles are very strong, and the songs are very beautifully picturized. And the songs have a meaning, like you said. Every song is in context, and every song tells a story. Like, for instance, this clearly portrays the character as what he was. Like, hello, my dear wrong number. And uh, I don't recollect the story, but I think it's something about him. Um, He's a playboy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was a playboy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 And, and I think, uh, yeah. but the thing here is that see, the words are in English. In English, right? Hello, my dear, wrong number. So to stuff that into a classical scale, and um, then on top of it, there was another Hindi version of the song also. Yeah. Um, same tune and everything like that. The same singers also probably. Um, mm -hmm. So, but this is uh, the way the song is sung and the way uh, the entire range of the song is handled, um, all the delicate uh, um, 
ornamentation and all that. It is it's really beautiful, beautifully delivered, and it it looks like it was tailor made for Yesudas. Yes, indeed, and and uh, uh, you know I, I must mention here that all the song Devam Tandu Vide, Adisaya Ragam, and this one, all these were K Balachandra movies. Yes. So so uh, you know Fortune really smiled on Yesudas. Yesudas's talent was never in any doubt. But the fact yeah. was that you know his introduction or reintroduction into Tamil happened around this time, so it was absolutely fantastic. And um, uh, with your permission, Kanix, can I go to the next song? Absolutely, sure. Yes. Yeah. So, um, viewers, this is a director, music director. Uh, coincidentally, again, this movie also was directed by the same K Balachandar, and I guess he went through a few music directors, and then he, I think, decided to. Give this gentleman a chance, and uh, I would like you to listen to the song first before we talk a little bit more about it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're back. Um, before I hand over, just want to give you information. The name of the music composer is Maragada Mani, and you all know Bahubali. He said music for Bahubali. So over to you, sir. Yeah, um, Maragada Mani was his name in Tamil, and uh, his name in Hindi was something else, right? Uh, MM Kirwani, maybe? Kirwani MM Kirwani. MM Kirwani. MM Kirwani or something. In Hindi, in Telugu, it was uh, Kirwani. Yeah, and uh, of course with Bahubali, it, it really hit the charts, and it was a different dimension altogether. I remember watching it in a, in a theater where the uh, the when he sings the uh, uh, Shiva Tandava Stotram carrying the Shiv Shivalingam and uh, walks down the hill, it is it had quite a big, bit of an impact. So that's like a time span of what more than twenty years between this film and then that. And this film came what like in the early nineties, right? Uh, uh, it's in the early 90s. That is correct. Aragon, it is in the early Aragon, 90s. Aragon is the name of the movie. Right? Aragon is the name of the movie. It was Muhammad Kuti, who also called as Mamuti. Mamuti and, I think, yeah. yeah. And, and, yeah. and uh, Madhubala, I think, is the name of the actress. And yes. so it must be a few years before or after or around Gentleman. Because she really took off for a few years. Roja, yeah. this one, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm not. It, this, this is probably before um, Gentleman, I think. Um, but I'm not sure. We gone. Um, so this is the time. Uh, so if you look at uh, the way Dharmavati was handled, um, putting it in historical uh, perspective, Uttaravindu Uleva, then Nanda Niya Nila, then the wrong number song, and then a bunch of Ileraja songs like Enuli Lingo and Ilanjolai uh, Putada and all that. So and uh, um, so this came came after that and. This is a very different handling. It's more like a call and response right from the beginning to the end. So there's yes. no layered orchestration or anything like that. And when we come to Ilayaraja, we'll talk about how how the orchestra, orchestration has been layered and also how the um, sequences of uh, conversations between various instruments happen. Um, we'll come to the next song. But this is like more like a, a handling of a melody in just, a, just, like, just like a free flowing melody and uh, um, it, it essentially captures the, um, the the chemistry between the two characters in the film. So I think that was the intent of the song, and it's been done pretty well, using um, the using inspiration drawn from this particular scale of the 
Yes, and, and those of you who have not seen Aragon, please, please watch the movie. Banupriya is the lead actress in that. And there is one other song, it's beautiful lyrics. Sadi Malli Poocharame, Sangat Tamil Poocharame. That's a beautiful song, yes. Yeah. yes. And actually, the, yes. the, the dialogue that I like best in the film is, um, hey, we are going to go to the street. Hmm. So we have been born in a different place. That's what the kids say, okay, if you know hmm. that. Right, right. So we, we joke at home, my wife and I, when we don't like something that's happening, when if a flight is delayed or something, we'll just say, oh, we're going to go to the street. So that dialogue has kind of become a meme in our household. Yes, yes. And, and, and K. Balachandar ushered in so many new things into Tamil movies. And then also it found expression in Telugu, Hindi and all that stuff. So uh, amazing person. And, and I think at this point, we will bring this episode to a close because we're going to now talk about Dharmavati and Ilai Raja, our favorite music composer for now. I mean, all music directors are great. We, we just have, we grew up with Ilai Raja. So just humor us for that. And then we'll be back with other composers. And, and this is completely based on your support. And I hope those of you who have uh, you know, copyrights will not stop us because this is a very timely process if that happens. So thank you once again, uh, Dr. Kanikeswaran. And then we'll be back with more music. Awesome. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you.